as crews cleared out a homeless encampment. <laughs> Tensions ran high. Doing drugs. Homeless advocates documenting the cleanup at 28th and C clashed with nearby residents. It's different. That's different. This is public property. It's different. The large encampment is right near a park. Children played soccer as a worker disposed of needles one by one from a whole pile of them. This place got out of control really quick. Jessica Gorski says she'd been camping here for a few months as a last resort. There was nowhere for none of us to go. She referred to the shutdown of the city's safe camping site at Miller Park after bad winter weather. This is really insanity. This is insanity being out here. And all they just did right now is chase everybody off to another corner. Some people took their tents and wheeled the rest of their belongings to the other side of the street. The city says out of more than 60 people, 14 agreed to move to the newly reopened Miller Park, including Gorski. Every corner is still the same. Nothing changes. I'm tired of being out here. But with others left behind, they have to move out of the way so a mother can walk. People who live nearby are still worried, talking anonymously. It, that's not safe. Another described it as chaos. And, and lawlessness. It's the Wild West out here. People openly doing drugs without consequences, she says. And that's the other thing that I feel bad for. Where are they going to go? There, there's no place for them to go. The city, the, the cops, the sheriff's department, you know, our elected officials, like, no, everyone's playing the blame game, you know, and no one's doing anything. In Sacramento, Liz A. Mitri, KCRA 3 News. This week, the Sacramento County District Attorney announced that he is investigating the city to see if it's causing a public nuisance by failing to crack down on crimes and city code violations at encampments. But city leaders say they are working urgently to address the homeless crisis.